Hey folks, we are on beautiful Port Phillip Bay. Not so beautiful this morning, we've got a fair breeze blowing, but we've tucked in nice and close. We're joined by Philip Dixon, Tackle Tactics Pro Angler, and we're out to get a few King George whiting. So we'll hopefully get stuck into a few. We'll talk you through a few tips and techniques for catching a King George whiting. And hopefully we stay warm, Phil. He's a nice one to start with. Have a look at that. What a cracker fish. Quality fish. That is a good fish. Do you want to talk us through the rig we've got set up here, Phil? Yep, so the main thing down here is you need the long leader, because as you might see with the video, the current here is fairly strong. So we have a bit of a long leader, just a reasonable size sinker, with a nice strip of squid just hooked on the end so it doesn't spin in the current, either a strip of squid or a pippy. I think you got that on Pippi, did you? Yeah, yeah that, one was on, that one was on the cocktail, you said. Cocktail, yeah. <laughs> a bit of both. So a bit of both. So yeah, as long as we've got a bit of pull in the current, which we've got, and we should oh. hopefully get a good feed. Yeah, that's a, that's a great fish, yeah, that one. Nice so fish, yep. that, that Paternoster rig, and so you just pick your sinker and loop it on there based on the current yep, just to, based to on get the it current, down yep. there. Yep. And then that, yeah, that squid and Pippi cocktail worked pretty well on that fish. Beautiful. I love the slime on these guys down here, yeah, eh? Good, aren't they? The colder it is, the slimier they are, but what a cracker eating fish. That's yeah, that's that's a great start to our session. Beautiful. Bit of weed in the water. So that was a good call, Phil, to get the get the rod back in, get that weed off and get it back out there again. Yeah, yeah gotta keep an eye on that, hey. Oh, that's another nice fish. Now coming nice, from that's coming from Queensland, that's like that, the size of these whiting blow me away down here. But for you guys, you do get them bigger, hey? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. But that's that's, that's a good a solid size. Fish, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a solid fish. You can't complain with those. That's 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 a beautiful fish. Yeah, around the front, up near the entrance to the Port Phillip Bay, you might get them a bit bigger than that. But um, yeah, that's that's a quality fish. Food in the bay here. And just light spin combos, yep. hey? Yep, yep, just the RLFs, yep. Uh, Bra Braden leader? Uh, yeah, 10 pound braid yep. with the stealth leader. Yep, 10, 12 pound leader, Yep. It's fine. Yep, beautiful. Good fun on light spin gear, that's for sure. You don't mind being out in the wind when you- No, you no, know, when you catch it. When you get slow. stuck into no, a few, no, eh? yep. Oh, fish on. You're not mucking around, mate. No, I haven't I've got, even. I've got to come good. Put the pressure. <laughs> I haven't even got my second bait in the water, and you're all over it. One thing that you mentioned is important: is current, hey. Good fish. Yes. Yeah. Most important. You, no current, no go. Basically. Yep. So, they like that bit of run, yeah, hey. Yeah. That is a no good play, fish. No go. He wanted that too. He yes, scoffed that hook. He swallowed that, hasn't he? Yeah. It's another quality fish. So we've just, we've just, oh, you got action on that one too. And we've just done a bit of a move as well. Uh, you guys don't, you don't sit for too long in one spot, hey, if it's not happening. No, uh, not normally. 10 minutes, probably max. Yep. And then we move, even if you only move sideways or drop back 5, 10, 20 metres. And just make it, make it happen, hey? Yeah, yeah. You don't need to move a long way most of the time. If you know there's fish in the area, you just got to pinpoint where they are. That one scoffed it, Phil. Yes. He really wanted it. it. Yep. So we're, you want them. we're looking for current. So like you say, you don't start, you don't hang in one spot for too long. Give it 10, 15 minutes. If it's not happening, move on. Yeah, that's right. We, you know, you don't have to move a long way. You just move 10 metres one way, 10 metres the other way, or drop back a bit or pull forward. There's another nice fish. That's brilliant. That's, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you just keep moving till you find them and we've just lobbed on them here straight up. So hopefully we won't have to move. We'll just pluck a few here and there and we'll be right. Yep. And the flow, you get your burly going. Yep, bit of burly. So we've got a burly cage over here on a bomb. Yep. And we chuck a few crushed pippies over the side and just keep that trail going. And once they get in the trail, hopefully they'll just sort of keep going, you know? Yep. One thing you said to me, move. hang on, hang on to your old bait from previous sessions and that sort of thing, hey? Yeah. Your old yeah, pippies and that. Yeah, hold on to them and then just crush them up with, a, with an old meat cleaver there and just yeah. the odd one in you don't want to overdo it just to trickle yep just to keep me interested basically yeah so less less burly more often yeah right, right. and just keep them yep. keep them coming yeah yeah that's awesome great great fun eh
Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> So that you find once they get going a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Once you get them going, if you pull up in the right spot with the burly, like we talked about before, once they get going, this one's a pinky. It's not a snapper, but oh one, yeah, yep. Just a small pinky. So while well, while you're chasing King George Whiting, what sort of bycatch do you come across? Oh, these guys this time of year. Yeah. The snapper are all flooding into the bay now. Um, you'll get the odd leather jacket, which are more of a nuisance fish than anything. Um, yeah. Basically, those probably those two yep. these two varieties. But if they're going really well, the whiting are on the chew. Not normally, nothing else really has a chance. Yep. So yep. you basically just get the whiting most of the time. You ever so. get a big snapper on your uh, whiting gear? Yeah, occasionally you'll get a bit bigger pinky, but I've never hooked a big one as yep. yet. But yeah, you're always a chance. I yeah, suppose. awesome. I'll get this one in the box. Yep. That's one thing. One thing my dad always taught me was if you if you're gonna keep a fish for a feed always make sure you look after it and respect the catch so that it's in good condition when you get home and that's what that's what the boys are doing here today as well they've got they've got the box bit of salt water in there bit of ice whether it's frozen coke bottles or bag of ice and keep that fish in optimum con condition so that you can you can get a good feed out of them and these are a beautiful eating fish so respect your catch keep it in good condition and it's going to be a great feed on the table for the family that's for sure So a cool, a cool tip that the guys showed me when we first got here. So we've dropped the anchor, wait for the boat to hang where it wants to hang, get one of your broken pippies for burley and throw it in the water and just which, watch which way the current runs, where that pippy goes. And that way you can work your rods out where they're gonna sit, where you're gonna cast, so you don't end up in a big mess. That first rod will cast it out, put it in the rack, let it drift around, and then we'll cast that second rod out wider. So we're we don't want to try and throw a rod. Phil said, don't throw your rod out in the middle of the other rods. Throw it out, let it drift around, throw the next one out, let it drift around so we don't end up in a mess. And hopefully we end up hooked up to another good fish. Oh, again. Oh, yeah. So another another move. Yep, just a little one, about 40, 50 metres. This feels a bit yeah, different, this yeah, thing. I don't know whether this is a wilding or not. I think it might be, might be one of your mates if you want it. Yeah, it feels a bit, definitely feels a bit different. And swimming up current. No, no, it's, nice it's a frog. flatty, you beauty. Nice <laughs> I love catching know. a flatty anyway, mate. Yeah. So do I net this bloke? Uh, no, we should be all right. Should we be all right? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Mate, for those that know me, know that I love my flatty fishing. Nice fish. And that's, uh, yeah, that's cool. I've caught a couple little Port Phillip Bay flatties, but that's beautiful. So there we go, that's a beautiful looking fish. So that's a blue spot yes, it is. flathead. Yep. So last time down we caught a we caught a few of these, but they're only 20 something centimeters long. So that's a PB for me. I'm pumped whenever I get a PB. That's that's a cool fish, but they do get bigger, Phil. Yeah, they do, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll grow up to 60, 70 centimeters. Not you don't see a lot of them, but they can grow. Just around the corner there where we were before in Swan Bay, they do get large in there. Um, but yeah, so they sort of anywhere from 28 up to sort of you know 55 is sort of the common average sort of type of slot. thing but that's yep. you know that's a nice fish if you can they're get a f healthy yeah. heavy set sort of fish as well so yeah, they are. and they're another good eating fish terrific absolutely yeah, yeah. up there with whiting i reckon anyway that's my opinion well I, i'd probably normally let this one go but we, i think we might have to give it a taste because flatty's a favorite at home so we'll 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 take this one home for the table yep absolutely stoked new pb they don't have to be big ones but that's a that's a good solid one for down here, so yep, I'm happy. For sure. You'd be happy with that. Fish on, Phil. Fish on. We were just winning, it was a little bit quiet, but there's. Yes. That's when it always happens when you think about making a move. That's a nice one, too. That's a good fish. It's a nice fish. Well, the current's running pretty hard at present, so. Oh, look at that thing. That is a beast. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wrestling. They take some wrestling. That's a crack of fish. That's a nice King George Whiting. Yep. Thank you for an awesome morning session, Phil. Yeah, been, nice a, been a case. great Good. morning on the water. We got, you know, got a feed of fish in there. Yeah. We've had a bit of fun. For anyone that wants to get out there and chase a, a King George Whiting in Port Phillip Bay, what would be Fearless Phil's hot tips oh, for chasing a King George yeah, Whiting? Okay. <laughs> Probably current is really important. Yep. If the current's not either ebbing or flowing at a fair rate. 
you know, you struggle. Obviously quality bait, fresh squid, fresh calamari, which is plenty around here. Yep. Some pippies. You can fish either or either or both. Yep. Um, good ground, get get the right ground, bit of broken, bit of weed, sand. Just anchor in the right spot so when you cast back you're actually fishing on the sand, not in the weed. Yep. And yeah, that's basically it. And move around. Don't just don't be dormant, sit in one spot. If you haven't got a fish in five or ten minutes, you know, yep. just, if it's, just move. If it's not happening, make it happen. Just make it happen. Yep. Yeah, correct. Yep, spot on. So some correct. good tips there for you if you want to go and catch a few King George whiting. So we've got to find that weed and that sand. So the weed holds the food and that for them a bit, I guess, eh? And they they, they lay in yeah, those sand patches yeah, a bit. Yeah, they just like that broken ground. There's little fairy shells that, that come on the on the uh, seagrass. They feed on those, I think. And yeah, they're just, you know, wherever there's just a bit of bit of structure, a bit of broken ground. Yeah, that's just beautiful. just don't want all sand, you know, because they just don't seem to like that. Yeah, so. got to mix it up a bit yeah. for them. So there you go. Get out there, get into a feed of these tasty critters. Port Phillip Bay, magic experience even with a bit of breeze. And we're going to go home and, and have a nice feed of King George Whiting. Fish on. Wow.